Sid Faggot, and you are watching Bucket List. We are Tooth Grinder, and you are watching Bucket List. Bucket List. What's up, Internet? You're watching Bucket List Music Reviews. I'm Jason, and I'm the asshole who forgot his t-shirt today. I'm with Tooth Grinder today. Introduce yourselves. What's going on? I'm Justin. I sing for uh, Tooth Grinder. Uh, my name is Matt. I play bass in Tooth Grinder. Wills, I play the drums. And Jason, I play guitar. Sick ass. Yeah. So dudes, um, I was mentioning this a little bit earlier. I like to do my I like to do my actual homework before I interview a band so I don't sound like a complete dipshit. And I'm trying to search around, I'm trying to search around. I couldn't find anything on the internet of you guys actually being on video before. Is this your actual first video interview that you're doing with me right now? Uh, no. No? No. no. But if this gets up on the internet, inter internet it might be. Yeah. <laughs> you know? We have a couple that are like, a couple, but I've never seen them, so. Your cherry will be <laughs> mine. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, you. I don't know any that are online, but it's not the first time doing yeah, it. Which is weird to say, <laughs> yeah. but that's, that's, that's right? the truth. Yeah. All right, so, um, Get into the generic shit. Starting with, uh, obviously, how so far how's the tour going with 36 Crazy Fist? Great, excellent. Yeah, yeah. it's going awesome. good. Yeah, it's a fun tour. Yeah, yeah. yeah. playing yeah. a lot of the similar areas we've been to, so getting some return customers. You yeah. know, yep. nice it's been to nice. see them. Everyone on tour is super cool. Every day, nicest guys. Everyone's helping load gear. It's good. Very cool, man. Yeah, it's yeah. really nice. All the dudes, they're they're the best, nicest. Yep. Very Can't cool. get uh, better dudes to get together and barbecue and. Have a couple beers of years with. They're the best. Yeah. Badass. Um, so this being the second time up in Canada, at least this year, if you guys may have been around before, I'm not sure. But, uh, one yeah, we just grew up with contortionist was, uh, and this. And then, uh, yeah. Exactly. Um, are you noticing any a bit of a difference your second time around? Are you feeling a little better about being up here? Yeah. You know, aside from the weather, like. Yeah, well, it was more comfortable. Middle of a tundra last time. Oh, dude, but, it was gnarly. Uh, <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> well, yeah, I feel like uh, you know we're just more comfortable coming to a new country you know yeah. the first time we did it we were like terrified yeah. now it's just like all right done it before and like yeah. and we, we noticed you know some people saying they're going to come out again because they saw us at whatever show they came to yeah. the last time so um yeah, we still got a couple more on this run in yeah. canada so we'll see if they come out I said they yeah. come out. So, you know. we'll say yeah. i can chime in with that and probably the story that happened this morning crossing the border um we crossed i think around like seven or eight this morning and uh and we ended up going through the same, I guess, terminal, you'd call it, as we did in February when we came through. Yeah. And it was the exact same agents. She just looked at us, she goes, back again. Back. Yeah, we're we're like, right. <laughs> like, yeah. And so she shook us down. She's like, anybody felonies in the last three months? Anybody? Yeah. Yeah. And we are like, no, not. Come on, make my job Yeah, right? Hey. So, Give so, me something good. good. Yeah. Surprisingly, it was the easiest border cross we've had yet. So yeah, it, was it, was, nice. it was awesome. It started off Canada on a good foot. So. And the yeah. weather is, yeah. it's not negative anything else, yeah. so it's perfect. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so, into that. Yeah, you're gonna particularly like Montreal in the summer. Unfortunately, it's a fucking Tuesday, but I think we'll make do. That's right, we'll yeah. find you. Oh, some spots you guys can check out a little later. Nice. Um, other than the border crossing, has there been anything particular on this tour run that has been the most memorable for you guys so far? Be it Canada, or anything, whatever it is. Is there anything that specifically stuck out in your mind while you've been on the road? Uh-uh. Go ahead, you can go first. I just think the comfortability, just like we, Pulled up to most venues already having been there, so we're just like, yeah. I don't know, it's just more relaxed. That's that's what's, I guess, if you say anything that stuck out the most to me on this tour, that's most memorable. It's yeah. just like feeling in the groove. Like, all right, when I get to that venue, I know exactly where I'm gonna park the van, you know where I'm gonna go hang out, or what I'm gonna do, or where I'm gonna eat, eat or where I'm gonna like do whatever. Yeah. So, so. Whereas like when you've never been there before, like a couple of things that are coming up in this tour, we're gonna be like. Oh, uh, where do I yeah. go? Uh, 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 I'm gonna go all yeah. over the place and be exhausted or be, that guy. be pissed yeah. or be <laughs> really excited and surprised. I don't know. But like now I know. Very cool, um, man. I noticed one of the first days and it kinda caught me off guard a little bit. Uh, we were playing and, and people were singing the lyrics back and you know it's happened a couple times and it's happening a little bit more since we're kinda stretching our legs a little bit. I mean more probably more so for Justin, but just being behind the drum kit and like Hearing people and like looking out and being like, "Holy shit, that that is other people besides these two guys singing." I was like, "Oh my god, this is crazy!" It was so cool and like, 
I almost was concentrating more on that than the actual song. It was just, it was pretty refreshing to hear. It was, it was cool. Life's natural fucking Viagra. Yeah, dude, for real. That's a great. Bonus way to put size it, man. of bratwurst. Let's yeah. get it on. Yeah. I can't fucking imagine that, and I'm of the utmost jealousy. Yeah, but it's, uh, it's very, cool. very cool. I, I do got to ask though. First of all, huge congratulations to you guys. You recently got put on VH1's top number one in their top 15 events. You got yeah, to in 2015. Cool. As you just said, you know, people are starting to know your lyrics. How much do you think that contributed to that? It definitely helped. Definitely. Oh, yeah, I think it definitely helped. And, you know, it was interesting. We've talked about that. And we've been on lists before. And there was, I, I don't know what it was, but there was just something about that one that I felt like people held on to a little more. Yeah. You know, and it was a surprise for us. I remember we found out in Canada, I think it was Toronto on the, the nice Contortionist story. tour. Yeah, was. That was the day that we, we saw it. And just since then, you know, like people at home would be like, oh, I saw that VH1 thing. Like somebody who's never even cared about the band before, yeah. but for some reason held on to that. I was like, hey, if that legitimizes it for you, I'm good with that. <laughs> as long as it's not Thank weird you, living it. in that van, I'm cool. <laughs> Whatever. If you think so. so. It's all good. We're joined by one more. Guys, what's up, guys? There you go. <laughs> Sweet, we got the whole fucking band. Yeah, All right, whole crew. Moving on, um, I'll get a little bit into what you guys have actually recorded so far. So, the big thing, I, when I last saw you guys with the contortionist, I, I picked up both um, vibration, color, and frequency, and then Sweet. schizophrenic jubilee. Awesome. And it's night and fucking day. They're almost yeah. two completely different fucking bands. And I want to know what inspired mostly the level of aggression that you put into schizophrenic jubilee that was different from when you guys recorded. Um, uh, I think it mostly was just song structure, like trying to write the songs and um, shorter songs and something that's like quick and to the point rather than with vibration, color, frequency. It was kind of just us trying to do an experiment with yeah, whatever big, we were kind of doing at the time. Yeah, I feel like definitely. the majority of our uh, majority of our writing for the beginning three quarters of our career has just been like writing whatever we're feeling at the time, not really making a tooth grinder yeah. sound it was yeah. more just like this is what we feel like writing at the moment and then that over time when i feel like when you start playing more and more and start writing more and more you start to develop the sound and i feel like schizophrenic jubilee was kind of like the first little step into our sound yeah very cool. kind of molded yeah i yeah. to add on to that which i don't know how much more that's pretty much perfect but i feel like we figured out what we did in vibration color frequency and we just condensed everything yeah. and we made it like you said a little more thematic of each song has its, is its own little universe you know and, and that that can be its own thing it's not like the whole record sounds the same it's kind of like this is this this is that that is that well, yeah. kind of everything's a little different i'll tack on to that we still keep it a little experimental we always oh, do yeah. so i was gonna say to, if this is if this is you guys keeping it basic i'm scared shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, 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 like the act of the title track, the two schizophrenic Jew, um, you know, um, or the polar complex, I should say. That um, that was technically written as one piece of music. Okay. It, I think together it's seven and a half minutes, but we just yeah. found a good cut point, and it kind of helped for, for you know, but it also helped kind of shape the lyrics into what they were. And, and you can still keep each song its own entity, but we like and we always played it. You know, um, we play it live as one. as one unit. Yeah. One unit. Yeah. Well, that's still us being experimental, <laughs> but trying to make it, you know, accessible. Yeah. Complicated as fuck. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> trying to make it hard. Which as we leads can on me ourselves. into my next one. What exactly the fuck were you guys on when you wrote that record, if anything at all? Because I, like, which one? In my, in my year, specifically schizophrenic jubilee. Okay, okay. Um, in Crystal my Matt. years, yeah. I, I, there's Matt. very few records that seriously had me on the verge of shitting my pants so quickly. Uh, Dude, like, did I actually, you actually complete? The first time I saw you guys, I had to admit, and I kind of want to know if I'm the first one. Am I alone? Has anyone else actually defecated themselves at a tooth grinder show I've before? I've thrown up on myself. Uh, oh, okay. It's only come out the top end and not the bottom so far. Yeah. Okay. So, so we'll still, see. I'm still alone there's, on the show. There's, there's, there's still time. Yeah, yeah, there's still time. There's still time. Um, no, I mean, I think it was just what he said, just whatever we wanted to do. Yeah. It was like, that sounds cool, that sounds cool, all right, yeah. that sounds cool, let's just do it. Like, there, there was a lot no, of long nights, a lot of whiskey. <laughs> yeah, a, a lot of just like trial and error, you know, with anything, like literally with anything, trial and error, like this sounds good, all right, change this, all right, cut that. No, maybe we should have cut that, put that back in, you know? It's just everyone, every single person gives 100% at all times. Yeah. That's what makes the song, is everyone's idea. 
you know, not just a single person in the band, which is the coolest. That's probably why okay. it makes you shit your pants. Because yeah. <laughs> never. <laughs> yeah. I think the, you're all fucked up. <laughs> I think the fortunate <laughs> thing about trial and error with that <laughs> is we're winter, not even to year. The trial and error is <laughs> among just the five. Yeah. yeah. There's True. nobody else that. Uh, I, uh, apparently, we're. I, we're making people shit pants. Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. I, I, I feel <laughs> terrible. Uh, okay, I, I, I'll send you the medical bills. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I don't, I don't know. It's uh, people are latching on to something. I don't know what, what cool. the fuck it is. It's great. I'm but this it. is just what's coming out of us. It's what we feel. What feels good at the time. Um, Sometimes it feels good to take a dump. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta, you gotta rip a hard duke. Nature yeah. calls. You must answer, man. No doubt. That's just how it goes. We answer with just music. That's it. That's it. <laughs> and apparently vomiting on yourself. Yeah, vomiting. <laughs>